What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for joining me. Today I have two stocks that I think you should be very interested in because I think they're going to have some great potential. And yeah, just remember I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on the internet who likes to look at stocks and tell people about them. So remember to always do your own research before you invest in anything. This video is for entertainment purposes only. While you're here, hit the like and subscribe buttons and the notification bell so you can get updated on all my new uploads. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So guys, the first stock we're going to take a look at is called Wintree Therapeutics, Inc. And this is a company that develops drugs for uh, respiratory and, uh, diseases. Uh, they also develop the delivery systems for those drugs as well. So, you know, like asthma... Uh, I imagine lung cancer or some any kind of lung disease, really, uh, any kind of breathing disorder, those kind of diseases are what this company is going to be uh, trying to, you know, uh, take out of uh, or take out, basically. They want to get rid of asthma, uh, get rid of, you know, all these diseases that have to do with breathing. And these can be really debilitating diseases. You know, I feel bad for some people, especially people with like asthma or really bad allergies where they can't breathe. And they can't really do the things they want to do. You can't be active, right? So companies like this are always a good thing. And these are the kind of companies I look for because they, they're going to change lives, right? And changing lives, it, it goes a long way. Not just morally, but it makes a lot of money too. So keep that in mind. Now, let's go ahead and first uh, take a look at their their numbers, I guess, or their, their charts. Now, right now, they closed out today at 557. They're up seven cents on the day. Uh, today or yesterday, I should say, because it's after midnight as I record this. Um, but yesterday was the 16th of February, 2021. Okay, so this company, you know, uh, closed out 5.57, and after hours they're up 14 cents. It's another 2.51 percent, and I'm gonna talk about why. Okay, they are currently. Uh, I mean, their volume isn't really a lot. It's it's not even 100k. So they're not trading at high volume. They don't have a huge cap right now, like a huge market capitalization, which is good because that means you're getting in early on something like this, right? Uh, when there's a huge market cap and a ton of people are buying in, generally you'll see that the stock gets overbought. Looking at the RSI right now, they're smack dab right in the middle. They're at 49.23 for the day. I mean, I mean, if you really actually go between 70 and 30, what's the halfway point, right? I mean, it's pretty close. Um, you know, so in my opinion, yeah, like that is literally halfway. Wow, that's like right down the middle. Um, so a lot of these hype stocks that I've been looking at, they're all overbought, guys. Um, all these penny stock plays, you know, I, I go into um, stuff like like uh, like Zom and stuff, and it's just all overbought. It's all sitting above seventy, and it's just it's just waiting for a crash to happen. This is different though because this particular play. Um, analysts have actually given this a strong buy, uh, and there is a price target on this stock of over $12, so that's money right there. Um, you can, I mean, I honestly feel like this stock's going to double your money if you get into it, so um, there is a little bit of resistance here, but I mean, look at the ask price. I mean, somebody's asking at eight ninety eight. It's at five fifty seven. I mean, <laughs> the first wall is at 8.98, you know what I mean? Like these are nothing walls. Like you clear this by, like I could probably clear one of these by myself. So I'm not really tripping off of these. This is the only wall really that's even here. And then, you know, you have, I think it's kind of silly that you have another two cents, you have another thousand share wall right here. But other than that, I mean, there's just so much good catalyst behind this. And I'm gonna talk to you about that now. So numbers looking good. Um, you know, up and after hours, it'll probably continue to go up. So this is your chance to get in early. Now let's talk about the news because the news is what's actually going to move the stock. Like people will look at charts and try to make predictions, but guys, news is what moves stocks. Keep that in mind. First news, as of yesterday, technically it's not yesterday anymore for me because like I said, it's after midnight, but yesterday on the 16th, they patented a new um, drug delivery system or an aerosol delivery system uh, that is called AeroSurf. And this is just another new product. And whenever you patent new products and you have new, new stuff on the market, that's always a good thing for your company because it means that you're innovating, you're developing new technologies to use. And we have new technologies, generally they go to market and you make money on them, right? So this is the first piece of good news, right? Patented 
AeroServe Phase 2, whatever this is. It's a aer aerosol delivery device for medicine. So very cool. So that's the first one. The other thing that I really want to stress is the insider trading as well. Um, I look these kind of things up because I feel like the insider trading is often overlooked. Uh, generally, when you have a lot of stuff internally being sold, it means there's really not any kind of confidence in the company. But as you can see here, tons of shares uh, have been purchased within the last year. Nothing really within the last three months, but within the last calendar year or within the last year, uh, the last 12 months, we have quite a quite a bit of money uh, being set up here and actually over, over $2 million worth. So there is a lot of uh, confidence internally. I mean, they just talked about how this board member, Rujin Hang, uh, spent 90 grand uh, and actually uh, is down right now. So, you know, they got to work hard to get their money back pretty much. So just keep that in mind. Um, so that's another good thing to be happy about with this stock. I am actually going to uh, take a position in this. I don't know how much that's going to be yet. I honestly am very confident in it, especially after all the news and everything I've seen. Um, but, you know, it really is something that where I got to decide on how much money I'm going to put into it uh, and if I'm going to pull from any other positions or anything like that. But this is something to think about and I wanted to put it on your guys' radar. Uh, the second stock I want to talk about, and this one's actually a little cooler, and it's going to have a video that I'm going to play for you um, so you can kind of see you know all the cool stuff about it. But let's go ahead and get into that. That stock is called Ocean Power Tech. And they're currently trading at $5.02 a share. Uh, they're a little down. Uh, they are up in after hours to $5.10. So you close out the day uh, with an $0.08 cent gain. Um, and wow, this technology is really impressive, guys. And uh, I'm all about you know disruptive technology and clean energy technology because I believe that we're going to need to start implementing it for the future. Uh, energy needs are going to continue to go up, and even if we didn't, you know, wait, wean off of uh, oil and gas, I mean, eventually you're going to need to, you know, find other sources of energy just to meet energy demands. Energy demands are going to continue to skyrocket, so keep that in mind. Now, the first thing I'm going to do before I look at the news, similar to the uh, the Wint stock, is we're going to look at the numbers. Now, much like the other stock, it's not overbought or oversold. Um, it's pretty much smacked up in the middle. It's leaning a little bit more towards overbought, but for the most part, um, you know, it's still in the middle. Um, like I said, a lot of the, the mainstream stocks like ZOM and, um, you know, and SNDL and like all these stocks, they're all hovering above 70 and they just kind of float up here on this line and it makes it really rough. Uh, when you kind of want to be right down the middle, um, and actually, if you're trying to get in, you want it to dip down here. Like, I would have bought in probably right here. Like, this was probably a nice little sweet spot right right there. And you can see as it hits the, the, the dip. Um, and then, you know, it starts to average out. But the RSI is just going to give you some insight, right? And actually, as you got up here at the peak, that's when the sell-off happened. So, you know, it gives you a little bit of insight on that. Now, this one does have a little bit of resistance at 520. Uh, 10,000 shares to be uh, to be sold at that point. That is the asking price. Um, maybe a whale can come in and make this happen, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the technology for this is what I'm more interested in, and the news is what I'm more interested in. They have a small uh, volume of trade. So for a stock that's $5 a share, you know, the volume being uh, 584 is actually not super amazing. It's not super crazy high um, because if you think about it, you know, stocks like SNDL where the, you know, it's about half the price are doing like 3 billion uh, volume. So, <laughs> you know, this is, this is nothing, but uh, I wanted to kind of go over that with you. Once again, I look for stocks that are right down the middle in the R side. They're not like overwhelmingly, you know, too high or too low. They don't have a pattern of writing one, one or the other. Um, you know, this one was a little wild back here, but for the most part, it looks to have been pretty down the middle uh, for quite a while now. Um, and, you know, let's let's take a look at the news, the real reason uh, behind, you know, what we're after here. Now, I'm actually going to play their video here. I already watched it. But I want you guys to listen to this. I'm going to actually do a little bit of narrating here so you guys can kind of see what's going on. So this is what they do. They take this boat. They take it out to the middle of the ocean, 
and they have this one big, huge buoy. Okay. So I'm going to take this buoy, and they're going to dump it in the water. And as the waves go up and down, there is a piece of the buoy that's kind of uh, disconnected from the main shaft that goes up and down it. And as it goes up and down, it pumps a, uh, a drive shaft and basically charges batteries. And then those batteries are gonna send a signal to another spot on the ocean floor, which then takes the energy and like delivers it somewhere else. It's pretty wild. Check this out. See how that goes up and down? To me, this is really cool. See, so it goes up and down, up and down. And then they're going to give you kind of an infograph here. So you have your float assembly, the thing that basically drives the energy from the waves. And this rotating drive shaft goes to the generator, and then the generator powers the batteries. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. So pretty much this whole thing is designed so that not only can it communicate with like a central uh, hub, but basically it's going to deliver the energy down this wire into this battery and there's a drone or some kind of drone in here that actually takes the batteries and brings them back to the surface it's wild and crazy how this thing works so very interesting technology if you get a chance go to the oceanpowertechnologies.com website to take a further look into it it is pretty cool I'm going to pause it there, guys. I don't want to get too much into it, but we're going to go to the next page here. The other thing I wanted to talk about is they just acquired a company called 3Dent Technology, which is based out of Houston. And 3Dent is um, is a company that currently uh, creates uh, like architectural uh, uh, setups for offshore. Uh, they do a lot of offshore drilling stuff right now. But I imagine that the, the, the new use for them is probably going to be used for more designs for um, these buoys, right? Because they currently they design things to work in the in the deep ocean, and that's pretty much what's going on here. The company is going to continue to work under its own name, but it's going to be a subsidiary of the of the OPTT, right? So it's going to be the Ocean Power Technologies subsidiary company. And yeah, um, you know these these are the kind of catalysts I look for. I think that they have a really good idea. Um, and I just think that it, the only thing really holding these kind of ideas back um, is the fact that really, you know, it's just more of a hype kind of thing. Like if you get more interest in these, I think these kind of ideas would make a lot of money. I mean, if you look at it right here, you know, they're already making the things, they're already making the moves that they need to make to develop better technology and to get better at what they're doing. So you got to give them respect for that, guys. Like I said, if you need to check them out yourself, I always recommend you do that, but I'm gonna go one more time over them. First, we're gonna click there. I'm gonna go one more time here. So the first one is Wintree Therapeutics, and the ticker symbol is WINT, W-I-N-T. And the second one is Ocean Power Technologies, and their ticker symbol is O-P-T-T. -T. So that's the video, guys. I hope you like the stocks that I picked out for you. Uh, let me know if you plan on investing in them. I'm definitely going to uh, be investing in Wint. Uh, I do like what I see there. There's a lot of potential. I'm going to have to do a little bit more, uh, you know, soul searching for the uh, ocean power tech because uh, I don't know if the I don't know if people are there yet. I mean, I would I feel like right now if you get into this, you're getting in really early, uh, which may be a good thing. So. I don't know. Uh, tell me what you guys are going to do or if you are going to invest in either of these companies. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Um, other than that, though, I will see you guys in the next one. I hope everybody has a great day. Take care of yourselves. Peace.